In the bars of Burkina Faso, the music of Cuba's legendary Buena Vista Social Club is alive and thriving. Bob Seydoux and his band, the Faso Elites, play every weekend in one of the many bars and clubs of the capital, Ouagadougou. Us Burkina Bay people like Cuban music. It takes us back to the old days, the time of our parents and our old president, Thomas Sankara. May he rest in peace. He really liked Cuban tunes. Thomas Sankara was nicknamed the African Che Guevara. He became a figurehead of the anti-imperialist and pan-Africanist movements. Sankara led Burkina Faso from 1983 before he was betrayed and assassinated in 1987. At this time when many African nations were moving on from decades of colonial rule, Cuban music, with its links to the revolutionary politics of Fidel Castro, struck a chord. During Sankara's time in office, many people went to Cuba for education. In exchange, many Cubans traveled to Burkina Faso, political advisors, soldiers, doctors and musicians too. Cuba was a revolutionary country. At the time there was a partnership between Burkina and Cuba. There were Cubans who came over bringing Cuban groups with them, like the Orquesta Aragon. They came here. Thomas Sankara was a musician himself, playing in guitarist Roger Bihun's former group Missile Orchestra before his ascent to the presidency. Together, they made music halls and bars sway to their Afro-Cuban rhythms. The tunes we played with him were written by Nyonas Pedro and others. There were some Cuban pieces that we wrote here, mixing it in. We were good at Congolese music, Cuban, Mandinka and Guinean tunes. The country recently observed the 32nd anniversary of Thomas Sankara's death and remembered this music-loving leader, a figure from a time when the worlds of music and politics were more intertwined than ever.